my last video wasn't very popular and I'm not surprised to be honest I feel like no man no modern man really wants to hear that you've got to stop chasing women because most modern men are very soft and I even put my hands up and say that I feel like I am soft compared to my ancestors if I were to look at my ancestors if I were to look at men from the past I think that the men of today we are very very soft very weak compared to our ancestors and it's our responsibility as men it's our responsibility it's our duty as men as leaders as protectors of the tribe as protectors of the community that we must be the most excellent versions of ourselves and that means even if we've been born into a society a culture that is totally corrupt at its core totally designed to try and corrupt you to try and rot your brain and the way that this culture is doing it right now rotting the brains of our youth our men is through pornography because pornography is very much designed to corrupt you and to corrupt the way that you interact and perceive the feminine the divine feminine because your responsibility your honor your duty as a man is not to parasite off of the feminine it's not it's not you're not there to extract your pleasure from the feminine it's quite the opposite your duty your honor your responsibility is to protect the feminine and it's to create with the feminine and that means that when you create you create life and what i mean by that is is when you make love to a woman when you have sex with a woman you create life with a woman so all of this pleasure seeking that we have in our culture at the moment where it's just about seeking pleasure within yourself within yourself it's all about the self it's all about pleasuring the self but what you must realize is that it's not just you it's other people too and if you're just trying to pleasure yourself using other people you're going to become very disconnected to other people and you're going to just see people as objects and that's what pornography does is pornography will brainwash you into seeing this person as just a means of you getting pleasure for yourself rather than the very very amazing sacred sexual act being respected and honored for what it is the act becomes this very self-serving very self-pleasuring exercise which is a total corruption it's a total corruption and a design to keep men as weak to keep men as controlled to keep men as from not expressing their most highest potential if you are if you are to consider yourself a man you must recognize that you are a beast and that you must overcome you must tame the beast because if you're just acting like a beast if you're just acting like an animal and all of your feelings and your emotions are pulling you in specific directions you're just going to act like a beast you're going to act like an animal but your job your responsibility your duty your honor as a man for your ancestors is to be the highest expressing version of yourself is to control yourself is to control your feelings is to control your emotions is to control your desires is to not be led by your desires and pornography is a corruption designed to have you be led by your desires to you just be a pleasure seeking leaf in the wind weak uncontrollable you can't even control your own sexual desires you're just trying to pleasure yourself constantly and the system will do this and it will utilize this corruption as a way of controlling you as a way of making you slave to the system as a way of making you weak as a, a way of making you easier to control because i speak with experience guys when you learn to really become the divine expressing masculine version of yourself where you are not led by your desires you are not led by your sexual feelings you are led by your highest thought and when that leads you it starts taking you to higher and higher places it starts taking you to greater and greater realities where you meet your soulmate where you realize your mission you realize what you're really here to do what you're really here to create in this reality and it's your responsibility as a man to create that's what we men do we are creator beings we literally put the semen that goes in the egg and then creates the life right we are the the injector the procreator 
the generative energy giver. But if we're expressing this very toxic, very parasitic way of creating, of just extracting from the feminine, of parasiting off of the feminine, then we're going to have the reality that we have right now. We're going to have a really, really ugly reality where women are not safe. The only people that we can blame is the men. It's us. We, we, we have to take responsibility because it's not coming from anybody else. Nobody else is doing it. The women aren't attacking themselves. It's us, all right? Because we men have been corrupted. We have been indoctrinated by the culture to parasite off of the feminine. So it's your responsibility as a man to master yourself, to control yourself, to control your feelings, to control your emotions. Because to be a man is to realize that you're a beast, but you must control the beast. You must tame the beast. The beast must not control you. That is what it means to be a man, right? You have to make those difficult decisions, the difficult decisions that nobody wants to make. No man wants to do the difficult. Every man just wants to do the easy. They want the easy way out. They just want a little bit of pussy. A little bit, I want a little bit of pussy tonight. Well, brother, you gotta to toughen up. You gotta really, really, really toughen up. You are literally being led by your emotions. You are being led by your feelings. What are you? What are you? Weak. You're led by your feelings. You're led by your emotions. You can't even control yourself. That's weakness. Your ancestors would be very, very disappointed in you right now. If they were to see what you have become, if they were to see what you have allowed yourself to become, your ancestors would be very disappointed with you. The creator would be disappointed with you. So I feel like it's your responsibility as a man, it's your responsibility to have the courage to do what's difficult, to look fear in the face and be silent, to not be moved by your feelings, to not be moved by your emotions, your little pleasure-seeking emotions. You're just masturbating yourself into this little hole, this little black hole and you're creating more and 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 more darkness and more pleasure seeking, more serving the self. That's all you're creating, you're feeding into that. And there's already so much of it here on planet Earth. It's been created by us men. So it's our responsibility as men to become men, to really embody what it means to be a man, to really express the divine expression of masculinity and to do the difficult thing. And the difficult thing, guys, is that you have to abstain. I speak with experience as a guy, and trust me, I get a lot of offers from women. I get lots of women making passes, making directions, so to speak. But that's why it's even more important to be in alignment with the divine blueprint, with the divine purpose, with the divine masculine purpose, which is that you're not here to be moved by your feelings. You're not here to be moved by your emotions. You're here for a greater mission. You're here for a greater purpose. And that purpose cannot be overrun. It cannot be overcome. It cannot be parasited upon by your allowing of this thing to control you, this parasite to control you. You must realize that you are being parasited very deeply at a very, very deep level. And you need to overcome that parasite, you, you need to energetically overcome this parasite. Whatever this thing is that you're allowing to control you, you're allowing it. And you are a man. You have the power to choose in every moment to create a reality for yourself. That's what your ancestors did. That's why you're here. It's because they killed saber-toothed tigers. They killed warring tribes. They did the difficult thing. And you're just here doing the easy thing. So realize that the, the mission, the battlefield, it's more evolved now. It's not 2D, it's not 3D, it's 50D, it's 60D. It's pretty multidimensional, this battle, the attacks and what you are. So you must aspire to your highest vibration. It is your mission, it is your responsibility, it's why you're here, it's why you chose this life is to be the most excellent and expressive version of yourself. So be that, be that, because we need it. We all need it. We all need you to take responsibility in the way that we all are taking responsibility. 
So to be a man is to do the difficult. To be a man is to make those difficult decisions. To be a man is to tame the beast that you are and to not be moved by your impulses, by your feelings, by your emotions. That is what it means to be a man. And when you can really master that, and when you can really realize that, suddenly your reality will change. Suddenly your mission will change because it becomes a lot clearer. It becomes a lot simpler. It's no longer about you. All of your emotions, all of your traumas, all of your hurt, all of your pain, those are just frivolous ideas. Because when you realize that the stakes are much higher than just your feelings, your emotions, your worries, your fears, or what people think about you, you realize that the world is in trouble and the world needs you, the world needs men. The world needs men to be men, to take responsibility and to not be moved by feelings and emotions and to control themselves, to be strong. So brothers, I know it's difficult out there. I know we're all super traumatized, but you need to start doing the difficult. You need to start making those difficult decisions. Stop watching porn. Stop engaging with all of the corruptions. Hear it from me, if you need to hear it from somebody, I communicate your mission to you. It is all a corruption, brother. It is all there to keep you brainwashed, to keep you weak, to keep you disconnected from your highest purpose. So you must overcome this. This is the first hurdle. You must overcome your desires. You must control yourself. You must be unmoved by the feminine. The feminine is not there to move you. Do not be moved by the feminine. Do not be pulled. Do not be swayed. Be strong. Be the oak tree. When the storm comes, the oak tree is unmoved. The oak tree has very deep roots. The oak tree has foundation. So be the oak tree. Be strong. Realize your foundation. Realize that your roots go deep. Realize that your ancestors, the men that came before you, they give you excellence. They gift you their excellence. You carry that within you, within the blood that courses through your veins. Their excellence is within you. So let that fuel you. Realize who you are. Realize where you come from, that you come from great men and you must express excellence. Anyway, my brothers, my sisters, if you're listening, Blessings to you wherever you are in the world. I hope that you're well. And I'll see you on the other side very soon.